What's up guys, this is Steven and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to track motion in Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. As usual, you're going to come and create a new composition. 1280 by 720 is fine at 30 frames per second. And I'm going to make this about my clip size, which is about 11 seconds for me, but you can switch it according to yours. Hit OK. So take your video clip, drag it right on, and it should snap into place like that. Now for now we're just going to create a null object, go to layer new, and go down to null object, and we're just going to leave that out for now, but we'll come back to it later. And also make sure that you have window, just go over here to window, and make sure that tracker is selected, so it'll show up down here, because this is where we're going to be doing most of our work in the future. So as your video is selected, you're going to come here and select track motion, and it will give you this little motion point right here. What's important about this is that you need to put it at a high contrast area in order for it to actually like see it and track it very well. So you can just take that, move it over here, and I'm going to pick this little reflective spot right here because it's very easy for After Effects to track it. After that's done, you're going to want to make sure that the target is null 1, like that, so you're going to go down here, edit target, and make sure it's null 1. Everything else is fine right now. And what we're going to do is hit analyze forward. Now I'll come back to you when this is done. It depends on the clip size and how much you want to do it. So, I'll make sure this is back at 0, by the way. And I'm just going to hit this and I'll be back. Alright, so now that we say that, see that this is finished, we have all these points that it's gone through. And what we're going to do now is just click off this so it's not selecting anything and come over here to apply. We're going to hit that and it's going to be X and Y. Make sure this is clicked off too or else it'll put it on the video. And we're going to hit OK. Now what this will do, it'll apply it to the null object. And we have all these points right here. But in order to make the transition smoother, we're just going to take this and select it, all of it, and hit F9 on our keyboard. And then I'll change it all of these, which will just make it smoother, and it's better for your whatever you're going to motion track with it. So once that's done, you're good to go. Now, I'm just going to put a text layer on this, just to show you the example. So I'm just going to type in CCMM. Now we can make that a little bigger. Let's go to... Make it about that big change the font to steel tongs and we can make it a little bigger that looks good and you know what we're gonna change the opacity down to 50 percent because it makes it look a little better so just type that in press T on your keyboard to bring up opacity by the way and that looks good and order and now we're gonna make this follow the null object. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whippy looking thing right here from the text object and we're going to drag it towards the null object. Now this will make that the parent of that so now it should follow it like that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this tutorial helped and stay tuned for more.